We must have released a new shield. This one is the SHT30 Sensorian Temperature and Humidity Sensor. You can just about make out the sensor there. It's a very neat shield. It's I2C bus connection. The standard address is uh, hexadecimal 44, but you can change it to 45 with a link on the board. Note that they sensibly bought out the device reset pin and also the alert pin. So the alert pin uh, is triggered. If you've seen one of my earlier videos, you can use the alert pin to implement thermostats or humidity stat or to uh, trigger an interrupt to the uh, to the device to the CPU the ESP8266 or Arduino when an event happens uh, perhaps um, a temperature exceeds one of the thresholds the alert pin goes high that will trigger an interrupt and you can then process it so you don't have to spend your time polling the device all the time fairly straightforward board the only thing I would note is that they've usefully put a circle around D1 and D2 to denote that D1 is the serial clock and D2 is the serial data so what I've done now is to insert that into my sort of development board which is one of these separator boards which is quite handy I could stack uh, the SHT shield on top of the ESP8266 but for clarity I'll, I'll leave it like this but it makes for a very uh, compact design compact solution and then to accompany this I've produced a web server and I'll show you that next this is a short video that shows the SHT30D Wemos uh, temperature humidity sensor working. So this HTML page here is being served out by the ESP8266. If I refresh the screen, see the values changed there. And I've set it to automatically update the screen every 10 seconds. So in a few more seconds, there it just refreshed. If you leave it running, on that web page it will always give you the current temperature and humidity there it goes it refreshed again and obviously if the ESP8266 was running off batteries in a remote location that would be a remote temperature humidity sensor internet of thing in terms of there it's just refreshed again in terms of uh, source code I'll include it on the github location as usual I'll just go down the software very very quickly standard includes note that I've included the Wi-Fi manager so if you've got a ESP8266 that's already connected to uh, your Wi-Fi router you won't need to enter in any credentials and, and if it doesn't have any credentials it will stop and ask you for those and, uh, and I've put in the notes here of how that actually operates. Uh, all that's required is to get the temperature humidity values from the device. Um, they, they are, they're in the format so if you wanted to get temperature they're in that format there or that format there sent to Celsius or Fahrenheit there uh, uh, or humidity. Uh, I've calculated some what I call derived values of dew point and heat index using temperature and humidity and then it sits and waits for a client to make a connection to the ESP and if the client connects and while the client is sending text or data to the server it will read whatever is sent it's usually just a blank line or a carriage return and then it will it will build up this web page this string that is is appended to with all the HTML text to display temperature and uh, humidity the dew point and heat index when it's finished building up the web page it then sends the web page to the client that's how the system works uh, an extension to this could be to also send the data to um, another client such as uh, ThingSpeak but this is meant as an example of using the new SHT30D 
temperature humidity sensor from Wemos which makes for a very neat solution.